Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and in this quick video, I will be discussing about one question from GATE 2017, the question number 53. Now, uh, since I uploaded the last video on hydroboration reaction, someone is requesting for this question again and again. So that's why I am doing this video and also it is important because this question is slightly different from the previous one. Although uh, the, co the concept is very much similar, but it is slightly different and uh, it is worth discussing, right? So you can see this is the reaction in this case also an alkyne is given which is treated with some boronic hydride and then treatment with iodine and sodium methoxide so what will be product a and product b so actually a is an intermediate right now what you have to uh, first look into this question is that what is the difference from the previous one which i discussed in the last video so in the last video the boronic hydride was actually a compound of catechol borane hydride right so, so these two groups are here two r groups which are c6 h11 whole twice so this is some alkyl group whereas in the previous case although i didn't uh, specifically mention but that were a catechol borane like this okay so in that case the boronic hydride was like this and when it was attached to your uh, this alkyne and then it is treated with water so this step i didn't mention so actually we got boh whole to ice but here the difference is it is an alkyl group so two alkyl groups are there and this type of hydrolysis uh, they are not doing here with water right and it is not possible also because in this case it is oxygen which is linked to the boron but uh, here it is the direct cb bond right so this is the first difference nonetheless step one is very much similar and it is the hydroboration reaction so if hydroboration reaction takes place here so i am representing this large group by r right so let's say it is r2 so if the hydroboration reaction occurs what you will get you will get this so here you will have the methyl group here hydrogen so this hydrogen is going here here you have br2 and now another methyl group here right so this is intermediate a now it is treated with i2 so if you add i2 over here you know the iodonium ion will be generated iodonium cation like this and here you have the methyl group so just let me show it it is uh, behind the board and this hydrogen is uh, follow uh, hydrogen is coming forward or it is towards you and this methyl is also behind the board and this br2 is towards you right now in the next step what will happen so in the same step or in the next step this sodium methoxide is given so sodium methoxide what it will do mu minus so it will basically attack on this boron and if it do so what you will get so it's very simple and you will get this so here you have the methyl group here you have the hydrogen here you have boron some om is attacking here here you have another methyl and these two r groups are there now this boron is negatively charged right so as it is negatively charged so just now compare the situation of let's say sodium borohydride so what happens for this so sodium borohydride it has a negative charge and this hydride it can donate like this similar is the situation here because it is containing a negative charge it can donate this r group it can uh, deliver this r group like a hydride so where it will deliver it so it will deliver it to this center because here you have the sigma star orbital this is the sigma star orbital of this uh, ci bond and this r group they will go here to open this iodonium cation right so if it opens what you will get so you will get here the iodine here the hydrogen and here the methyl right and now from the bottom side this r group is coming behind the board it is methyl and above the board it is this b r o m e 
now the only reaction which we are left out with is the elimination reaction elimination of this boron and this iodine now they should be anti periplanar for this elimination for that we need a bond rotation so by this bond rotation we will get so this this side is similar but uh, this side if undergoes a bond rotation we will have boron r ome here so we are rotating like this so this methyl group will come forward and this r group will go backward right so if it goes backward and now another ome will come so it will attack over here this bond will go here and this will be eliminated so the product you will get is methyl group over here r group over here another methyl over here and this is hydrogen so you can see this methyl and this methyl they become trans to one another so this is the product b you will get so it is very simple the only difference is uh, here is because of the presence of this r group instead of undergoing uh, the elimination reaction or some other reaction over here this r group is migrated to here so the presence of this r group is very important here so that's all and i hope that you understand the concept so thank you for watching and if you want uh, to clear your doubts uh, you have more questions you can ask me on uh, messenger so follow me on facebook and if you are new in this channel subscribe this channel and again thank you for watching